Hello and good day to everyone. We have come to the last part of the Comelec PowerPoint presentation sent to us by its law department. This will be uh, just a brief presentation and um, I trust that for the topics or other subject matters that were not covered by the presentation, I trust that you will study and read them. You have your respective books on election law because this will be the conclusion of our lecture series. So without further ado, uh, let's start with the discussion regarding the actions by the COMELEC. Okay. For the actions of the COMELEC, we all know that the COMELEC has exclusive jurisdiction when it comes to preliminary investigation of election offenses. However, uh, COMELEC also cooperates or coordinates with other government agencies. Okay. So here are the actions by the COMELEC. Okay. The COMELEC also cooperates with other government agencies for better prosecution and resolution. For example, the COMELEC works with the DOJ panel on electoral sabotage. They also tie up with the DILG against uh, three-termer candidates. Okay? They also tie up with the ombudsman on disqualified candidates. They also work with the DSWG, DSWD and DILG um, against the use of conditional cash transfer for campaign purposes or the Pantawid Pamilya. And also, they continuously and actively participate in congressional deliberations with respect to electoral reforms. And aside from that, they also seriously look into the qualifications of the party list um, applicants or aspirants or candidates. Um, however, there are um, limited Supreme Court rulings with respect to party list aspirants or party list cases or party list um, groups. They also file motu proprio disqualification cases before, during, and after elections. Okay. Uh, an example of this is um, cases during the barangay elections or cases related to barangay elections. Because cases related to barangay elections alone, um, they are very numerous. And uh, there are ongoing cases against those who violated the campaign finance laws and allowable campaign materials or expenditures. Um, they also have tri-media information and educational campaign on election laws. They also established um, a campaign finance unit which reviews all the sources or the statement of account, uh, statement of contribution exp and expenditures. Okay. And they also file appropriate charges against um, violators of campaign finance laws. Okay. Um, they also established a query desk at the law department for all those who want to ask for legal guidance and opinion. And they also act on, on, um, on online queries even for uh, anonymous senders. And they um, have continuously enhanced information activities with respect to election laws and other related subject matters. And aside from that, they continuously coordinate with non-governmental organizations or NGOs to ensure clean, honest, peaceful, credible elections. Okay? Um, for example, we have the PPCRV, we have the NAMFREL, uh, organizations for the PWD, we also have Lente and many other NGOs. So we can um, also add to that um, volunteers. They also work with volunteers. Okay, um, in uh, the citizens and the volunteers from the community help a lot in ensuring honest, clean, 
peaceful, credible elections, okay? And they, they also need the help of um, the private citizens and the masses, especially those who are willing to file complaints but have no knowledge or means to do so. So maybe this can be one of your advocacies when you become lawyers or even now as law students, okay? Um, so with that, that um, we end the PowerPoint presentation from the Comelic Law Department, and I have already given you your last assignment prior to our oral exams. Uh, I have given you enough time for your last assignment, and um, just let me know or just uh, inform me when you would want to have the oral exams. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe, pray, always glorify God with a grateful heart. Thank you.